Welcome back to another Beyond Bourbon. Today, Bottle Shelf Bangers 4-4. Four, four. Yeah, baby. Uh, season four, episode four. Just came off of a mediocre one, Old Overholt, 100 proof, bottle and bond. Eh, not great. I think that's it's forgettable. Super, it's forgettable, which is great for this one. I think this one, if it's any bit better, it's gonna taste like Thomas A. Tandy. Like, it's gonna be so much better, I feel like, if it's any bit better. Um, However, Jerry Porter for this one for me. Yep. Got no clue what it is. He said we've had it for a while and I forgot about it. We have like 150 bottles maybe. Um, so we bought bottles over a year ago at this point. I looked in there, I found a bottle I've, we've had. I don't think we've had on the series before. I really miss Bob and Joe Pingers. Like after that last episode, I forget how much I missed it. It's one of my favorites to film. Yeah. Like sometimes everything else can be a little awkward or weird. This is just so fun. It smells like apple juice. It's crazy how much apple juice that has on it. That's so furry. Oh my gosh. So <laughs> that is like overhauled. Whoa. I think that might be, it tastes like a Capri Sun right now. Yeah. That's what it smells like. That's what it smells like is a Capri Sun. Apple juice, apple sauce, anything apples. Like I swear this was at an apple, this is apple cider. Like we're in the orchard. I, it's just like, this might be just be cider. I don't even know this is whiskey. It might be, honestly. I don't, I might have poured something else into that bottle. <laughs> that is also, Jared says we can really have like 100 bottles, we keep adding stuff. We also have like four uh, infinity bottles and like we have other bottles that broke yeah. or something, we just pour them in there. <laughs> this could be anything, honestly. No, we're, we're pretty sure it's what it is. <laughs> yeah, I think so. I really like the nose. Yeah. If you get a, I would get like actual baked apples if I yeah. get really deep. This might be Some the cinnamon. first whiskey that I wish it was a little less fruity. Like usually that we like fruit, but like this is, whoo. There's nothing else really backing it up. You said a little bit of baked apple cinnamon and I get that at the very end. At the very end, you have to really dig. You have it. to get through all that fake apple first. Yeah, yeah. And it smells like a green apple Jolly Rancher or like yep. whatever. Is it, I don't even know if green apple is Jolly Rancher, but like a caramel it's apple without the caramel apple. Um, Sucker? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like this nose. It's getting more cinnamon. I'm still trying to, like, it, it is there. It's getting there more and more. I wish it was just scotch more with something else besides cinnamon apples. Yeah. It's like sour. I mean, it's an infinity bottle. Doesn't it taste like sour apples? No, like yeah, it does. It has like um, a tang. Yeah, like it, I don't know if I've ever had that in bourbon. I got it's more put like citrus juice or something in it. Ooh, citric that's acid. Like, yes, it tastes like citric acid. When I went to the winery, we, we would add citric acid and stuff, and sometimes it would just get a little bit in my hand, like lick it yeah. off. That's exactly what that tastes like. It's like, it's like still there. There's no finish whatsoever. It's, it's lingering on the tongue. I, I feel nothing in my throat. It just goes right over the tongue. Yeah. It skips that part. No finish. I don't, There's the no nose, flavor, it's just nothing. The dude. nose got worse after I came back to it, yeah. after trying it. This is the weirdest whiskey I've ever had. Is it good? I don't know, is it bad? It's, I don't know. It's good because it's different. But it doesn't even drink like a bourbon. It doesn't. Hey, is it a bourbon? It's a bourbon. Okay. It doesn't drink like a bourbon. It doesn't really drink like a whiskey. It just drinks like an a alcohol. Seltzer? Yeah. That's like, what it drinks like. Like if this was sparkling with like some a little bit more fruit, I would crush it. <laughs> It, so I got it. Okay. Maybe that's the point of this whiskey. Let me get a ranking out yeah. before we go. God, it's so hard on this one. I don't think it's above average. No. I'm gonna go 23. I'll go 25. Well, that's average. <laughs> I was like, I was right at 25, but I, I don't think I would want to drink this again. I go 24. Okay. I go 24. <laughs> <laughs> The, the guy shrugging. Yeah, that like, that's what. That's what this is like. Okay, we know the ranking. Uh, proof. I'm gonna say 90. I think so. Okay. <laughs> Actually, no, it's not. Close. 93. Lower. 92. Lower. 91. Lower. 89. Lower. 88. Lower. 87. Lower. 86. Yeah, I think Yay! so. Pretty sure. I can check though. Big six. <laughs> yeah. Buffalo Trace. Yeah. Buffalo Trace. We've under thirty dollars. We've not had it on here. No, on bottom shelf. No. Give me another hand. <clears throat> uh, we historically hate this product, and there's a lot more. Which mark? Them. Yeah, it's one Top of them. Four. Nope. Bonded. Nope. It's one of them. Keep going. Single barrel. Yeah. Single barrel is the best one. Yeah, I picked the better one. That tastes like sour apples, though. That's the first benchmark I've not thought was benchmark, but I did not like it. Again. This is the least benchmarky benchmark. It, it, That's why least, I threw yeah. it in there. I think the single barrel is the case of that. Ninety-five wow. proof. Okay. That makes sense. <laughs> the, what about the eighty-six? Top floor is 86. That's what it that's is. That's the one that's lower. They're all so dumb. I hate this line. 
Conclusions, it tastes like sour apples. Con it smells like apples. <laughs> Conclusions is we've done benchmark blind before years, well not years ago, months and months ago. One of our first videos. We've owned them all, tried them all. This was our favorite one. Yeah. This one won our blind. Um, I think it has a little bit more proof than some of the lower proof ones, but not as much as full proof, but that's a good thing. Yeah, so it's a single barrel, you're gonna get hit or miss on them. It's just not good. The whole line's not good. It's my least favorite blind in all of whiskey. And that goes to show, because I had zero clue what Jerry was wearing. Like, That's why no I wanted to do this. And I did not get the oiliness that I get on Benchmark usually. And I think I've said in previous videos, I can always pick out Benchmark. He always picks it out. It's crazy. This one is the apple-y. I get it a little bit now. Knowing into it, especially mm -hmm. the mouthfeel. Like, go back to the mouthfeel, mm -hmm. too. Like, you can taste it. It's not good for the sharpness on the palate and it tastes like a sour bad moldy capri sun and like mm -hmm. that's not this goes like we also it's so we had old overhaul before this that's a mediocre whiskey yeah. at best and i said if it's something better than that you're gonna know if it's something worse than that you're gonna know this is worse than that and like, like people like, would lose their mind if we chose old overhaul over that like i don't understand how bad I, I, like I would challenge you if you have a friend that likes benchmark, blind it for that. Yeah, dude, there's, or, like, it, there's no way you can look at that bottle and I mean, it, again, palettes are different. I understand that. Like everyone tastes different stuff. Benchmark is just blast. <laughs> like it's not good. It's bad. Yeah, all of them are bad. This is the best one of them. I mean, you can get over 50, 50 on our scores. Yeah, it was the best one of the lineup. Didn't get over fifty. And that goes to show you that it was the best one, so like, it should have been way higher. It should have tasted good, and it still made his gag. Some of you had the audacity to sit there and tell us that Benchmark Full Proof, which I almost poured, but we don't have enough of, was better than this bottle, which was our highest scoring season winner of all time. And the this one didn't even get over 50. I mean, there's no, you can't fill in the gap there. You can't. There's no way. I don't care whose palate's drinking, this is a bazillion times better product than this whole lineup, and it's cheaper. Yeah. I don't understand uh, the whole, I, I get it because it's Buffalo Trace, that's why people are yeah, obsessed with it. Yeah, it's a family, people probably have t-shirts with this on. Yeah, it's, it's stupid. It's not good, so um, there's never been a poor a benchmark that it's not, it's never been good to be blind, not blind, whatever. And it sucks because when you go on WhiskeyTube or you go on Instagram, everyone's like, oh, this is great. Best bottle go bottle go buy time. this. Yo, this is the best proof for poor or whatever. And I bought well, uh, Benchmark Full Proof was one of my first purchases of bourbon. Because of that. And I like could not get through it. I don't I literally remember like almost throwing up drinking it. It turned me off of whiskey. That's yes. we finished the bottle because it's all we had at the time. But. Yes. And it's like it is not making you want to go buy another bottle. That old granddad right there, not only does not like if I would have had this when I first started whiskey, not only does that make me want to go buy another bottle of this. I want to go buy other bottles of bourbon. Yes. Like that's the thing. That's how you know a bourbon is good. Is it when it gets you into the entire genre, this turns you away from it. If, even if this isn't your palate, you don't like bean for whatever reason, you might have just flavor the product itself yeah. from start to finish is better. Agreed. And, and mostly it's on the shelf. Most yeah. of us in this whole series. Agreed, agreed. Let us know what you guys think about Benchmark though. We, you, you know our feelings. I'm sorry. <laughs> I thought, I, I was like, maybe if we blind it, it'll change, we'll fall in love with it. No, this is the, the best punch I could throw yeah. for the benchmark fans out there. This is the one we This is the chance like, you had. And the least yeah. benchmark benchmark out there for us. This was your all's chance and it just it missed the mark again, missed the benchmark. Because I said yeah, I would not drink it again, it's below average. And at 23, we've had worse. And there's definitely been bro brothers. I'm sorry. We've uh, also up several other bottles, but like this, just not great. This should be better than Bro Bubbles. Cur this should be drinkable. This should be like crushable. This should be one of the best stuff on the market. Yeah. But it's not. Yeah. If everybody wants a bottle, we'll just give you this. <laughs> I'm just kidding. We can't do that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we need it for other videos. We need to make our miserable selves more miserable. Yeah. So anyways, hey, thank you guys for watching again and cheers. We'll see you next week.